Hey, Granny Gear here for Old Guy on a Bike. Welcome to the 2024 Sea Otter Classic. Well, it finally happened. Salsa has e-bikes, and not just your average e-bike. We're talking about, well, Salsa's version of what you might want in a e-gravel bike, adventure bike. I'm not really, really sure how to pigeonhole it, but it's interesting. It is the Tributary, and Jill from Salsa is gonna tell us all about it. Hi, we're super excited to be showing you our Tributary. It just launched this last February. We're super excited to have it. So. What we have here is a Bosch Performance Line Speed motor, and it is a class three e-bike in the US, a class one e-bike in Canada. So that'll be pedal assist up to 28 miles an hour. And um, we have two different versions of it. One version has a suspension fork, so that's 120 millimeters of travel. We have another version that is a fully rigid version. And in classic salsa fashion, we have outfitted it to really speak to adventure by bike and making this a true adventure bike packing or a long gnarly day kind of bike. We have mounts for bags. We can fit several water bottles on the every size. And um, the tires in the front can fit up to a three inch tire. So really meant to get over some gnarly stuff and making sure that you feel safe and secure and have fun no matter what kind of conditions you're going in. What does the back take? It's 29 by three when you say that. Mm -hmm. uh, the back can go up to a 2.6. 2.6, mm -hmm. generous, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what kind of, um, I don't know if you mentioned uh, the battery size and whatnot. That's a great question. Yeah, so the battery is a 625 watt hour battery. It also is capable of carrying a Bosch range extender. So you okay. could get about 200 more water hours with that if you carry that as well. Very good. And this is cutthroat-ish, but it's a little bit more than that. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks for asking that. So it is very similar to a cutthroat if you look at it, but the geometry is actually a little bit more slack. And that's like a little bit touching into the mountain bike world only because we really want everyone to be able to feel safer going at those faster speeds and really feeling confident when you're encountering some of the gnarly terrain that you might get into. And how many different models of it in versions? There's two. There's suspension, non-suspension, and is the rest components or different levels or is there just a so on the suspension version, we have Apex Eagle, so that's a 12 speed. And then on the fully rigid version, we have the GRX 1x11. Okay, very good. Very good. All 1x. Mm -hmm. Everything's 1x. Yep. Okay, that it's makes sense. Yes. That would be pretty typical. Yep. All right, cool. Well, there you go. And I don't know really exactly where to put this in the, uh, well, you know, we're in the pie of cycling. What slice this is, if it's gravel, or mountain or drop bar mountain, but I'll tell you what, it looks like a whole lot of fun. That is the Salsa Tributary. Sea Otter, it is a family affair. Uh oh, almost had a, almost had a head on there. <laughs> Hey, it's been a long time since I was in Osprey Packs, but they make some super, super quality stuff. I've had their stuff for years. It lasts and lasts. It's really well done. I'm here in Osprey. Again, we're going to take a look at what they have got for 2024 and 2025. Got some new bike packing stuff and some stuff coming along that might be really interesting for you endurance gravel guys. Here we go. Yeah, my name's Leland. Uh, I work at the marketing team here at Osprey Packs. Cool. And uh, yeah, let's run through some some stuff that's yeah, good for take, Spring take 24. Us yeah. Um, something that's super new and exciting for Spring 24 uh, is our Escapist series um, on body and on bike packs. Um, for the on bike packs, we have a handlebar bag, we have a saddle bag, three sizes of frame bags, small, medium, and large, and then a wedge bag as well. Uh, so we're really excited about them. Super durable, super lightweight, waterproof, are up welded seams, uh, waterproof zippers, uh, should be able to stand all the elements 
uh, for, for, for your kind of outdoor gravel bikepacking inspired adventures. Um, something else that have been really popular amongst the gravel crowd um, are our Duro and Dyna hydration vests. Uh, these actually started um, kind of primary positioning for runners, um, hydration vests for trail runners um, and, and mountain athletes. Uh, in the last couple of years, become really popular amongst the, the gravel community. Um, the way they're positioned on your back, um, the white light, the lightweight nature of them, um, kind of carry over really well for for gravel riding. Um, Duro is the men's specific, Dyna is the women's specific fit. Um, they come in one and a half liter uh, and six liter uh, vests, um, and they all come with a one and a half liter hydration reservoir included. Okay, you got any secret stuff? Yeah, let's show you some secret stuff. Ah, uh, we all like so, secrets. Uh, we lift up the. Whoa! We're lifting up the veil of secrecy. Yes, exactly. Five. Um, gotta keep this secret. Oh well, yeah, I won't tell anybody <laughs> except YouTube. Exactly. Uh, that is totally fine. Uh, so new for Spring Twenty Five, uh, we do have um, a, a, a hydration vest specifically for gravel. Hmm. Um, so we kind of took what we learned in Gerodyna, specifically built for runners, uh, and built a pack um, for those gravel users. Um, these packs are going to come in a three liter and a six liter pack. Um, there's some features specific for gravel. It's got this nice adjustable wider webbing strap. Similar to Durodyna, it's got some pockets up front for organization. Uh, and then also similar to Durodyna, it's got a one and a half liter reservoir. Um, so really excited about these. Two sizes, two volumes, um, and yeah, those will be new uh, for, for Spring 25. And that is Osprey Packs. New stuff, secret stuff, good old stuff. Check out Osprey Packs. Go get your gravel on. I don't know if you've ever heard of Fidlock, but it's a magnetic system of attaching a bike to a water bottle, so to speak, without a cage. And it's pretty slick. I've used it. It works really well, but it also has applications for other things. I just got a new helmet to try that uses a magnetic clasp for the helmet. It's very slick. That's by Fidlock. I've got some bike packing things come up. Fidlock is going to be an important part of that. And I'm here with them. They're going to be talking about their new waste pack that uses their Fidlock system. Let's take a look. Hey guys, Russell from Fidlock here. Want to tell you about our brand new Fidlock hit bags. Just came out this spring. This is the double. And the reason we call it the double is it has two water bottle bike bases on either side. And what I mean by bike base, this bottle will go on your bike base or it'll go directly on your hit bag. It has two on this. It's got monster storage. Behind the storage, it's got our hermetic dry bag, which means sweat-proof, waterproof, and sandproof. So no sweat is getting through this to what you keep in your bag. It's also got our world-renowned fasteners. So they're there, and then also one in the front for a quick one-step release. We got plenty in stock. Come by and see us today. All right, cool. Well, in the search for the one bike solution, you had to make some compromises. What if you could design a bike that had fewer compromises and let you maybe really, really achieve a one bike solution? Well, I'm not sure, but that just might be Thesis. And we're here to talk about Thesis. Take a look at it. Really an innovative approach to adjusting a bike to make it, well, road, gravel, and who knows what in between. Let's take a look at what they got. I'm Randall Jacobs with Thesis Bike and Logos Components, and here we have our Concept N1 project. Uh, this is a bicycle that is designed to be a road bike, a gravel bike, a cyclocross bike, a randomeer bike, a light adventure bike, and really everything in between. Uh, the key to achieving this is adaptable geometry front and rear. And the geometry on this bike adapts in such a way that you have um, the head tube angle, and seat tube angle, uh, steepening, the rear end lifting, the front end dropping, the wheelbase becoming shorter, the bottom bracket changing between road and gravel modes uh, in such a way that you have a true road bike geo and a true gravel bike geo. There's no compromise in that. And so, so what you're accomplishing with that is really an innovative sliding rear dropout, right? That's what I'm seeing? That's, that's the core, 
core element, that together with uh, a fork that we have under development currently that has a flip chip that's 10 millimeters perpendicular to the caliber so you can run different rotors for front uh, for gravel and road modes. So in gravel mode, you'd run a 180, road mode, you'd run a 160, and you wouldn't have to move the caliber. Uh, this is essential to the one bike concept too. Yeah. It has to be really fluid to move between the different modes. It has to look and feel like um, you know, the, a road bike, a gravel bike, and whatever it is you want it to be, uh, in order for it to not feel like a compromise. Right. Um, which, you know, there are a lot of bikes that, that do a lot of things pretty, pretty well. Our original OB1 was an endurance road geometry bicycle that we had two different wheel sets for, but at the extremes, it always left something on the table. This leaves nothing on the table. What do you think? For you guys that are looking for a one bike solution, well, you better have a look at Thesis because I think they might have figured it out. You decide. Stainless steel bottles for your water bike. What do you think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Well, I I'm undecided. I guess I'll have to try one and see. But uh, you don't squeeze it, that's for sure. You must have to suck on a straw or something. Uh, I don't know. It's the new thing. Okay, it's no secret that me and Tafosi sunglasses, we really get along. If you see any of my videos, are you either riding or I'm doing something like this right now? Yeah, that's Tafosi. They've been a good people, great product, and I'm here at the Tafosi booth at Sea Otter. I want to see what they got new for 2024. Let's take a look. Okay, some of the new stuff we have this year. We came out with uh, Sanctum in our active lifestyle. It's a shield uh, piece and has taken off very well. Bright colors, it's something that we hear over and over in the market that consumers want brighter colors. And that's what we came out with and it's doing very well. We brought some new brighter colors out in our Swank series and Swank XL. And if we want to go to the tech series, um, Stash here is our latest and greatest. Uh, it's an interchangeable lens uh, or photochromatic. It's very easy to change them out. Uh, the interchange ones always come with a colored one, an AC red and a clear lens for different uh, options. That's got a nice half frame option, so yep. a little rugged, yep. right? That looks good for uh, yep. the mountain bike stuff. You don't have the glittery stuff here, but you got some glittery the, stuff coming out. Correct. Right? We have uh, a limited edition right now that's uh, called Glitter Fade, oh. and that's available in our retail stores and online, and it's going very well. Very good. You know, you know, Tifosi keeps this old guy looking pretty spicy, at least as much as I can and everything. And I think at some point I might have to get my glitter on. Anyway, that's Tifosi for 2024. YouTuber filling a YouTuber. You know, vegan cyclist? That was him at the Tifosi booth. If you've never done VC Adventures on YouTube, check out VC Adventures, Tyler. He's a, he's a righteous guy and uh, he does some amazing stuff. So check him out. He's another Tafosi guy. And that, as they say, is a wrap. Day one, Sea Otter 2024. I'm cold, gonna go get something to eat. See you guys tomorrow.